Hello again, it's me, Ahmed, coming to you from speaklikeegyptian.com. Welcome to this new Egyptian Arabic class. Today, I will be teaching you something which is very important. Look, guys, I know that most of you, you know a lot of vocabs and you know a lot of words, but you can't create a meaningful sentence. Why is that? Because simply you need to learn how to build the structure of the sentence. Egyptian Arabic has only four structures. Whatever you're going to be saying in Egyptian Arabic is part of these four. So I'm now here to teach you what are these four structures so you can start speaking like an Egyptian. So the first structure is simply called maker plus the verb. What does that mean? If I say Ahmed is playing, Ahmed is playing, what does that mean? I have the verb which is playing and I have Ahmed, he's the one who's making that verb. Got it? So you're gonna tell me this is a noun? Yes, true, it's a noun, but let me differentiate it to you with the next one because the next one is verb plus noun so eating meat eating is a verb and meat is a noun just like Ahmed right but what's the difference Ahmed is a human creature who can make an action but the meat is not a human creature that can make an action so that's the difference between saying maker plus a verb and a noun plus a verb maker with a verb it's a living creature who can make the verb while in the second situation, which is verb plus noun, the noun is not able to make the verb. And the third scenario is verb plus verb. Example, I love to eat. So I have the verb to love and the verb to eat. So here we have two verbs which are building the sentence. And it's as simple as that. And finally, what if we have a noun plus a noun? Example, red car. Example, red pen. So we have two nouns. And by the way, in the structure of a sentence that contains an adjective, the adjective comes after the noun. So in English, for example, you say uh, red pen, while in Arabic usually say ben red. And these were only the four structures of building any Arabic sentence. If you memorize and you realize and you understood these four structures, there is no more than these four structures learning Egyptian Arabic. So that was all for now. Thank you for watching and for private online classes with me. Make sure to WhatsApp me in the written below number, thumb up and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.